In 1947, three men and a woman on a voyage to Antarctica crash-landed in a deep crater well below sea level after an unexpected storm. What they found next was a prehistoric world, a tropical jungle with dinosaurs, large carnivorous plants. Let me stop you right there, before you dive into your world of imagination. If you haven't guessed it, this is the plot of a movie named The Land Unknown. And in today's world, there certainly is a land known yet unknown on this planet. There's very little that comes out of the heavily guarded piece of land, and whatever does, comes out only after a nod from its supreme leader. We're talking about North Korea, the most authoritarian country in the world. For years, North Korea's threats to the world have made headlines, but it is the North Korean people who face the biggest threat of all. North Korea's constitution says it protects freedom of speech, but in reality, one misplaced word can cost you your life. The regime has stripped people of their basic rights and powers through a system of isolation, indoctrination and decades of brutal repression. The country ranks at the bottom of every measure of freedom, whether it's economic, political, religious or civil. Fear has been a prime tool used by generations of the Kim family to enforce their rule. Arbitrary arrests and detentions are common. Sudden disappearances and never returning home aren't uncommon either. Despite this, a few have managed to pull off a daring escape from suppression. According to South Korean statistics, there are nearly 34,000 North Koreans who defected to the South, with stories of horror to tell. Seoul is allowing the SKPs to share their stories. Video messages of the defectors are being displayed at the North Korean Human Rights Museum in Seoul. The exhibition is called The Echo Never Stops and it highlights how the North Korean regime uses prohibited language to shape the very way people speak and think. A North Korean woman named Hyun Hyang, who defected to South Korea in 2014, said she was arrested for asking why there were portraits of North Korean leaders hanging in her home. Another one says her father was dragged by security officials for simply saying he had a tough life while drinking with his friends. It gets even more bizarre. Kim Hee Young said her uncle and his entire family disappeared after he said this to his friends, that North Korean currency was as worthless as toilet paper in other countries. Soo Jin Kim says commonly used phrases such as I am hungry or I am tired could become a reason for someone to become a political criminal in North Korea. Basically in North Korea, what you say could be factual criticism or outright lies. But if it is anything remotely against the regime, it could lead to a life sentence or even death.